Unmasking Persuasion, Understanding Presentations and Advertisements. Hello, learners. Today, we're delving into an intriguing aspect of English comprehension, assessing persuasive presentations and advertisements. You will learn how to apply your evaluation skills in real-life situations. This skill will enable you to understand, critique, and respond to various forms of persuasive communication. To evaluate arguments and evidence, it's crucial to understand the goal of persuasive communication. Its purpose is to influence, convince, or encourage us to take a specific action or adopt a particular belief. In persuasive presentations, speakers often use rhetorical devices, compelling language, and emotionally charged stories. Advertisements, on the other hand, utilize captivating visuals, catchy slogans, and appealing narratives to sway us. Remember, understanding these techniques will help us become more informed consumers and critical thinkers. One of the most crucial factors to evaluate in a persuasive presentation or advertisement is the credibility of the arguments made. Ask yourself, 1. Are the facts correct and up-to-date? 2. Are the arguments logically sound and reasonable? 3. Are the sources cited reliable and reputable? Another common technique in persuasive presentations and advertisements is the use of emotional appeals. These can be powerful, but they should not replace sound reasoning. When you encounter an emotional appeal, ask. 1. Does the emotional content support the argument, or is it used to distract from weak evidence or reasoning? 2. Is the emotion appropriate and proportional to the issue at hand? 3. Is the emotional appeal respectful and ethical? Logical fallacies are errors in reasoning that can invalidate an argument. Some common ones include ad hominem, attacks, attacking the person rather than the argument, false dilemma, presenting only two options when more exist, and appeal to authority, assuming an authority figure is automatically right. To evaluate an argument effectively, look out for these fallacies and question their validity. Finally, when evaluating a persuasive presentation or advertisement, scrutinize the quality of evidence used. Strong arguments should be backed by credible and relevant evidence. When you encounter evidence or examples, consider 1. Is the evidence from a reliable and unbiased source? 2. Does the evidence directly support the argument? 3. Is the sample size sufficient or representative? And there you have it. By understanding persuasive techniques, evaluating arguments, assessing emotional appeals, spotting logical fallacies, and scrutinizing evidence, you'll be well equipped to critically assess persuasive presentations and advertisements. Remember, the goal is not to distrust everything, but to be an informed listener or viewer who can make reasoned judgments. Happy learning and see you in our next video.